So as some of you may or may not know, and let me clarify, I am Indian. And um, like most people, my parents go back to their home country to visit friends and family. And they would usually bring me with them. However, unfortunately, India and me have been a series of unfortunate events. Really, it started when I was six months old. My dad had already left two weeks earlier for my aunt's wedding, and my mother was coming with me two weeks later. And my mom had left the ticketing process up to my uncle, and unfortunately, he got her in the back seat with no leg room with me, a baby. And so she was tired, so she took a nap. And when they landed in India, she was a little woozy and she trips and drops me, her six month old baby, on the floor. <laughs> of course, I had no fract uh, fractures or concussions or anything like that, but um, sometimes I use it as an excuse to, you know, how I am today. Um, but that really was not the worst of it. Um, when I was around six or seven and I went to India, uh, <clears throat> at this time I had taken all my vaccines, my, uh, my shots, and um, I had gotten my chicken pox shot. There was a 2% chance that I would get chicken pox after getting the vaccine. And of course, Lucky me, I was in that 2%. <laughs> and I'm in India, and I have boils and bubbles all over my skin, and I am miserable. And my grandpa was like, okay, let's go out. Let's, let's, let's have some fun. <laughs> so he takes me to the bank. <laughs> have fun, really. Um, and he's showing me this like wad of cash, and it's in a bag, and he's showing me the Indian currency. And um, six-year-old me, really excited, decides to take it from him. Of course, I'm not as strong. So the bag drops on my legs while I'm in the car. My boils burst and I am screaming in pain. I mean, like, it is, it is horrible, people. If you ever have chicken pox and your bubbles burst, it's <gasps> <laughs> and so I'm screaming in pain. It was just not great. And um, let's just say I did not enjoy that trip. <laughs> um, when I was around 12, I also went back to India. And um, this time I had my sister with me. And I was so excited. I was like, something bad is going to happen to her this time. It's not going to be me. Haha, <laughs> uh -huh, that was wrong. <laughs> so, um, we're in India, and and all of a sudden, I get these huge mosquito bites on me, and I'm thinking, oh yeah, it's fine, it's fine. Um, but then these mosquito bites start going up my joints, and my joints are now two times bigger than they should be, and I'm just swollen, I'm bloated, I look like a balloon, and it. And my, we go to every doctor um, in India, and they don't know. They're thinking I ate some weird mushroom, got malaria. And, um, and then one doctor goes, oh, you have mosquito allergies. Mosquito allergies in India. Wow. <laughs> and so I'm just laying on bed, swollen, and my sister comes in. She'll, like, she'll like be happy in my face, start playing around, drink some Bengalesi, and jealousy, oh my god. <laughs> and so I'm just laying there and my grandmother comes in and she, she looks at me and she takes my swollen hands and starts caressing them. And she, she looks at me and in Hindi she goes, Tamil asani. And it translates to maybe you shouldn't come to India anymore. <laughs> And I'm just laying there and I'm like, uh, okay. Um, and then she, she continues and she says, but you know, sometimes I want to be selfish and make you come back so I don't have to, so I can see you before, you know, I leave and, or pass away. And I was like, you're passing away? Is there something I don't know about? <laughs> and um, she's like, no, no, 
But you know, we never know what the next day might bring, and I just want to see you. And and that really brings me to a realization that we come to NDS to see my family, and really, I think that even if I get hit by a car or contract some unknown disease, I think I'll keep coming back to India to see my family, to see my grandmother.